election. You have one side of a political divide, really critiquing and criticizing um, the IABC and its conduct of its affairs. Then you have the other side, on the other hand, overly defending um, the IEBC. And the question again, uh, Hassan Olenadio, is when you see these two major sides, you know, haggling over IEBC, whether this builds trust, you know, on that institution. Yeah, it's actually worrying. It's not, it's not something good that we should um, uh, allow to continue if there are a ne mechanism of stopping it. Because um, when you have players you know, in the field mm -hmm. and uh, one player is deliberately attacking the referee and the other one is praising the referee, it worries the spectator, the person who is actually looking at it from the outside. Because you may not know what, could, what is actually going on. What we are not saying as Kenyans, uh, we are still kind of... Um, being careful to say things that are a little bit uh, difficult to be said, that there still there seems to be uh, certain things that these political actors know which we don't know. They seem to want to, to drive a certain narrative which we are, we are not seeing as the ordinary Kenyan people. And to me, I think that has to be stopped. Mm. And the best way of us stopping is actually to also to question our political players, that they need to be careful because we have a country beyond ninth August. We really don't want uh, a symbol, uh, it may be symbol, but of course a serious uh, uh, one day activity to, de to destroy all what we have been working on for the years we have lived in this country. Mm -hmm. So to me, I think it is important that we, we engage uh, the political class and actually persuade them not to continue doing what they are doing because what they are doing is not right. Mm -hmm. We cannot uh, continue. Um, criticizing and actually creating uh, perceptions that maybe this group uh, are associated with these or painting the commission to be allied to one particular group and the other one are seen as the outsiders. They don't know what's going on or they are blaming the relationship between that group and that group. To me, these are purely perceptions which we have to, to resist as a country. Mm.